It's classic content, really, isn't it? Oh, never mind, I hate him. Left-handed. What? What the f***? Hello, you lovely lot. It is I, the guy mode. I've just been working out, hence the gym top. Not even sponsored. In a recent Twitch stream, Finster, that's this guy, and Ashley, that's this beautiful woman, did a stream where he rated studio setups. Hi. Jesus. We are reviewing PC setups. Okay. This is YouTube introduction. All right. Okay. Right. This is my setup. So in this video, we're going to go through their thoughts on my setup. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And I'm going to show you how to achieve a setup that looks good as cheaply as possible. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Can't point straight. Let's do it. <laughs> Still weird. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so stupid. Just do it. I can't tell if I love this or hate this. I like the tiny little plushies. Let me introduce you. This is Fox, and this is McLeod. <laughs> it's genuinely what I've called them. He's Fox, because he's a fox. And he's McLeod, because he's, I, I don't know what he is. <laughs> like a husky or something. Look at him. <laughs> These look like eye toys. What are those? I don't know. I like this. They're like webcams. So Ashley's wondering whether these two things I've got on my desk are webcams or eye toys or whatever. They're actually speakers. They're made by a Japanese company called Eclipse, and they're some of the most accurate sounding speakers on the planet. These speakers are the Eclipse TD M1. They're expensive. <laughs> At retail price, they cost about a thousand pounds. I got them on Facebook Marketplace for ninety-five pounds. Love the desk itself. The, you can have this desk itself for not a lot expensive. That's the IKEA uh, butcher block. Finn is almost accurate here. It is designed around a wood block effect. It is just a laminate worktop. Since I first built it, I did add an IKEA table leg. I try not to lean on it too much, but it does tend to happen because it is quite long. That's what she said. <laughs> You don't need to buy expensive worktops, you really don't. If you want to buy an expensive worktop, then that's your prerogative, go ahead. For me, I don't need to buy an expensive worktop, not even for sound design. This one, Facebook Marketplace, £40. Hold on, you haven't ate and you haven't, so hold on, you have an $800 mic and a £40 desktop? So this is my third studio I've built and my philosophy in building a studio is if there's anything that you don't need to be expensive, don't spend money on it. While we're on the subject of the worktop, I will just mention the drawers that the worktop sat on. Most of you are going to recognise these. They are the IKEA Alex drawers. So here in the UK, IKEA Alex drawers are £75 and they don't do the black version, which is stupid. Everybody wants black IKEA Alex drawers. IKEA, if you're listening, you are stupid. I didn't get these from IKEA. I got them again from Facebook Marketplace and it said £40 for two drawers. The mic. That's like a $600 mic. I don't know. I've, this is like such a specialty mic. There's a bit of confusion about what microphone this is. It is an Audio-Technica AT835B. It picks up sound directly in front of the microphone and kind of cancels out things from the side and behind the microphone. Now, I use this shotgun mic because I don't like a microphone in front of my face when I'm talking to the camera. It's as simple as that. And a shotgun mic is perfect for that function. Expensive as fuck. How much is it? Someone tell me. I think when I bought it, it was about three or four hundred pounds. And also those speakers look good. And they care enough to put them on extra stands and not on the desk so it doesn't vibrate for noise quality. So the speakers I have on the stands behind the desk are by a company called Blue Sky. Incidentally, the Blue Sky Studio One is the setup I've got in my home cinema as a 5.1 surround system. So these Blue Sky speakers were produced in association with and designed for Lucasfilm. You can actually see these speakers in the editing studios at Skywalker Sound when they were mixing the Star Wars prequels. See how dense it is. The Pro Desks cost a thousand pounds. The Sky System One as a 5.1 setup, which I have in my home cinema room, is one thousand seven hundred pounds. What? You worked fuck? on Doctor Who? 
What? Who? This person says I worked on Doctor Who with most of that setup. Which, what did you do? Jessica. What did, what did you do? Tell me, please. The stream has ended right now. We're just focused on this. Either way, I really like this mic stand. No, this no, sequence. Shh, yeah. don't talk. Oh, sorry. Yes, I worked on Doctor Who audio dramas for a few years. Big Finish, the company who actually produced the official Doctor Who audio dramas for the BBC. They hire sound designers on a freelance basis. It was... Quite an incredible time of my life. Um, I was working on something I loved. I've been a Dot 2 fan since I was very young. I'm not going to go into it on this video, but I no longer work on Dot 2 because I fell into a depression that affected my work and I never ended up going back there. Oh, audio drama. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, ah, uh, that makes sense. They stole that from work. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Cara Casey. Yeah. If you want to see me dress as a girl, I will be doing that again in future. In the meantime, there's this video here. Subscribe, like, do all that kind of thing. That'd be great. Bye-bye.